Good afternoon. My name is Tony Washington, and I am a candidate for mayor of the city of Peekskill. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is introduce to my left my running mate, Joe Brady. My running mates and I are here today at this barren site to bring to the public's attention some disturbing news concerning the real cost of cleaning contaminated land that the administration of Mary Foster purchased from the Ginsburg Development Corporation. This land was originally to be part of a Lower South Street redevelopment plan that the administration of John Testa had worked on with a great deal of public input. As you have heard debated many times over the past few years, had the plan moved forward as conceived by the Testa administration, today there may very well have been a Target or another retail establishments at the very parcels over my shoulder. However, upon taking office in 2008, the Foster administration immediately shelved the plan they inherited and nothing, not the hundreds of thousands in sales tax receipts, not the hundreds of new jobs that would have been created, nothing at all has happened on Lower South Street, nothing has happened except for the city deciding to become land speculators with the taxpayer's money. Just over my shoulder, there are three parcels of contaminated land that run contiguous with one another that are now owned by the taxpayers of Peekskill, courtesy of the Foster administration. Rather than work with developers who would keep title to the parcels, the Foster administration recklessly gambled $9.8 million of taxpayer money to purchase land that they had no valid reason to buy. Land that for years had been used for activity that made it ripe for contamination. In fact, when Carter was owner of just some of this property, they were cited with 4,500 DEC violations in just three years. We can agree to disagree with the Foster administration on the wisdom of not moving forward with the TESTA plan. However, it is inexcusable for public officials to use taxpayer dollars as if it were play money and make irresponsible decisions without giving a single thought to what consequences of those decisions might be. We have seen a copy of the preliminary remedial cost analysis that was conducted for the city after the purchase had been completed. The two parcels that are subject to the report are commonly referred to as the Upper Carter property and the l, &L property. By sheer coincidence, I'm sure, the report is dated October 25th, one day after the city council meeting, the last city council meeting before the election. How convenient. The Tectonic Company, an environmental engineering firm, concluded in their study that the cost of remediation was not $2 million, as some of us had been led to believe. No, this detailed analysis determined that the initial cost of remediation for just these two parcels would be over $4.1 million. It's very clear now why the Foster administration did not want the public to see the report before the election. But the story doesn't end here. The report goes on to say that the possibility of, quote, groundwater contamination is yet to be addressed, unquote, and recommends a number of additional tests on the two sites, which will cost an additional $70,000 or more to complete. Once all tests are completed, the sad truth is that the property will cost more to clean than it cost the taxpayers to originally pay for it. This transaction is akin to the city taking a walk near a cliff with a blindfold on. One would think they'd be smart enough to remove the blindfold before taking the first step. These are numbers that should frighten even the staunchest supporters of the Foster administration. When all of this is totaled up, what the Foster administration has done with this recklessly irresponsible purchase is to put the Peekskill taxpayers in line to absorb a fiscal, if not environmental, disaster. The fact that City Hall has been mum on a report that they had been quizzed about just 11 days ago only adds to the outrage. Well, I, I think what's happened is that the city has really saddled us with one heck of a difficult issue to resolve. Uh, no one knows at this point whether the land will ever be able to be marketed at a cost that will be reasonable for the taxpayers. I suspect that what's happened here is that we're going to end up, and when I say we, I mean the taxpayers of the city of Pisco, uh, holding the bag for a purchase that never had to be made in the first place. I think it's going to be more difficult to market the property. I, I can't see how anybody in their right mind uh, would want to buy it until these issues have been resolved. And what that means is that that full cost is going to be incurred by the taxpayers, uh, not by potential developers. The problem for me is it never had to be. Um, it never had to be. The Foster Administration did not need to buy this land. The Foster Administration, at the very least, could have let the project go through. And if they didn't let the project go through, let the land lie fallow. 
until a developer came through that was willing to remediate the land as the people from Target were.